Alright, in this video I will talk about uh, a partition number algorithm I have made today. Uh, the software I'm using is uh, Sharp Develop. You can see it here in the title. And the language I use is uh, C Sharp. And this is the in the block um, the, the window is um, initiated for the first time and I what I do is to write out some calculations to the output window I have over here and uh, I have a number that I set to different levels for different uh, tasks like uh, uh, the first one here um, or you can compute the range as well and this uh, project is uh, available for download in from the description in this video so okay let's uh, take a look uh, I have two functions, one function that adds up um, all possibilities for a number and I have a function that uh, calculates a specific, uh, uh, I call it restricted partition. It looks l a bit uh, kind of like the uh, the definition you can find on Wikipedia, but I made this by experimenting with um, first in a spreadsheet and then uh, doing a lot of uh, manual calculations to search for patterns. So what? Uh, okay. So uh, if you don't know what a partition number is. Uh, you can think of it like when you have um, if you have <coughs> 10 people um, that eat dinner um, uh, so okay, so the dinner costs thousand dollars. How many base are there to split the bill by ten people? Where each pay at least um, one dollar. So <coughs> the average is, of course, if you have thousand dollars divided by ten people. You get a hundred dollar per person, and this means you will have hundred, 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 and so on, ten times. A partition number is uh, <coughs> the amount of possibilities. You can have by, for example, you have give this one hundred ninety nine. He pays seventy three. This pays forty five, and so on. And he pays three hundred fifty. Uh, all these possibilities, <coughs> the number of them, is called the partition number. So this software or this algorithm programs 
no, uh, sorry, calculates the if I put in thousand here for X and I put in ten here for the people, I will get out a number that tells me how many possibilities it is. So this is restricted partition. Um, let's do this first. The function is called f and it puts in thousand dollars and ten people and writes out the result to this window. Okay, so I run it and I see in this window here the answer. So it's uh, quite many possibilities. Uh, so, okay, so the other function here, instead of uh, just uh, calculating the restricted partition for 10 people, it adds up for the uh, user for one person, two person, three persons, and so on. So you can have any possibility. Um, to calculate this takes uh, some seconds. Let's try thousand and see what we get. The function is called SF. Oh, sorry, I forgot to change the number here. <coughs> here, here it uh, came. And if you want to try to analyze this number and you could call it something, uh, you could say if you have um, a billion, which is nine digits, and you power it by Let's see, four, I think. So you get. Let's see, see, let's take a look at this number here. Okay. You divide by. One billion. So you get if you have a cube with a billion in each direction, you need to have 24,000 of these cubes, and each square in the cube will correspond to to one possibility. So that's a quite large number. Okay. Yeah, you can take a look at this um, source code. Here you have a variable that is called precise. Um, this controls how many, how large you want the buffer to be. I also added some uh, 
a special optimization here, which uh, when you calculate the the sum of the superscript partitions for a specific number, this number appears as a restricted partition for higher numbers. So just copy this this, um, this value over to into the buffer so it doesn't need to calculate um, that at a later time. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.